Summertime, it's a perfect time for dock diving, also known as dock jumping. In this great canine sport, a dog runs down an elevated diving platform and jumps off into the pool. The dog with the furthest jump is deemed the winner in the big air competition in which Will and I compete in. It's a great spectator sport, but the cool thing about it is that with just a few dog and handler skills, you and your dog can have fun with this sport. Ready, set, jump into dock diving. In the place and send method, the handler and dog walk to the end of the dock. The handler throws the toy out into the water where the dog can see it, gets the dog jazzed up, walks back down the dock, making sure that the dog can still see the toy in the distance, and then releases the dog to run down, jump off the dock, and get the toy. This is a great method for people who have not yet quite developed a good long sit-stay. This is the place and send method. Get set. Go. Go, 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 go! Yes! Very nice. Swim, swim, swim. Go, 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 go. A canine flotation device, Doggy Life Jacket, can help your furry friend feel safe when learning to swim in a, any body of water, a lake or the dock diving pool. I love the Herta Jacket for a lot of different reasons. It has a very wide belly band, so it provides um, lovely support underneath the dog. It has a lovely handle, so when you're teaching your dog to swim, if their bottom starts to drop, which is common, you can just lift up slightly and help them become more confident in the water. The Hurt to Life jacket, and I think we should put it on Willow and let you see what she looks like sporting her new Hurt to jacket. For dock diving, in the method I use called the chase method, when Willow's coming down the dock, it's really important that my throw is accurate. So I time that in order to help propel her up and out. So as a handler of a dock diving dog, I need to do practice with my own skills um, away from my dog. So here I'm using a big target, which is just a rope in a circle. And I'm going to practice throwing Willow's toy. This is her wubba, that, a water wubba that I use for her in dock diving. I practice throwing it. I start close so I can be sure and hit the target. And as, as I'm accurate and becoming better at it, I can increase distance. So I'll show a couple of those throws. I would start in the sort of the same position I am on the dock and pitch it in to the circle. Take a few steps back. and a few steps further back. And you'd continue that backing up in distance so that you um, could practice your throw at, at varying distances. Jumping. The jumping skill a dog needs for dock diving is similar to the human long jump. The dog needs lots of speed as well as a very strong launch in order to gain distance. With practice, the dog actually learns to gauge her run so that her back paws hit and push off the very edge of the dock in order to most powerfully propel her body forward. The angle of the jump is also important and is aided by the handler's throwing skills. Summertime is the most enjoyable season to get involved with the sport. So find a local lake or a nearby pond, make sure your dog is comfortable in the water, and start having some dock diving fun. Whether or not you ever compete, there's loads of fun to be had in recreational dock diving. Get up, get set, and get wet. Or as we say in the sport, see on the dock.